The Tarkov territory is a source of perpetual struggle for all the organisms that inhabit its lands. This competition for life itself has led to the evolution of a variety of different species. One of the strongest of these species is the submachine gun user. Come along with me as we observe these creatures' growth from the feeble prey into formidable predators. The submachine gun species is made up of two entirely different subspecies. In this program, we will focus entirely on the first, which is known as the Consistent Recoil SMG user. This creature, like many others, has humble beginnings. The Saiga 9 offers only the most basic defense against weak and unarmored opponents. The submachine gun user is able to defend itself from scabs and hatchlings, but the weapon's semi-auto nature and the poor ammo that is utilized leave the creature vulnerable to even basic PMCs. Though at a disadvantage, Saiga 9 users still pose a threat to any individuals at close range that do not wear face masks. Over time, they start to utilize 30 round magazines, giving them a better, though minuscule, fighting chance. After enough time has passed, the submachine gun user will realize that the semi-auto nature of the Saiga 9 puts them at a serious disadvantage. Though some may experiment with the UMP-45, most will move on to the Saiga 9's fully automatic variant, the PP-19. The PP-19's full auto-firing mode offers the submachine gun user better offensive capabilities within short ranges. Scabs and pistolings rarely pose a threat now, but the submachine gun user's lack of a decent armor and low penetration ammo make even lightly equipped players a persistent threat. Eventually, the PP-19 PMC will begin to utilize better armor, enabling it to survive more enemy fire. They will also start to employ AP 6.3 rounds, making it possible to kill lightly armored opponents. Towards the end of this stage, the submachine gun user becomes much more of a threat. They will begin to use mid-rank tier 4 armor and fix several attachments to their weapons. With all these upgrades, they will begin to win many more encounters. Despite this, they are still vulnerable to high-tier PMCs or groups of enemies. Eventually, the SMG user will evolve and begin to utilize the MP5. Though they are now using a different gun, most other aspects of the SMG user will remain the same. A 
Early into this stage, their weapons are lightly modded, often including only a sight and a muzzle device. They continue to use the same armor and have similar behaviors, but the increased rate of fire gives them an edge over their PP-19 counterparts. After some time, however, they will begin to undergo additional changes, making them stronger and more durable. These adaptations include better armor, different weapon attachments, and most notably, a 50 round drum magazine. It is at this stage that the Chad instincts begin to take over, and the subspecies becomes most aggressive. Understanding their short-range capabilities, the MP5 user will attempt to rush and barrel stuff its enemies. The MP5 user is quite a competent creature, and as a result, some SMG users may become comfortable and remain in this stage for extended periods of time. However, the most ambitious will strive to become stronger, leading to the next and final stage. The final stage of this subspecies results in the evolution of a most fearsome creature, the MPX Chad. Though not as common as they once were, the MPX Chad remains one of the most predominant Chad populations in the Tarkov region. They wear high tier armor, carry heavily modded weapons, and despise using any ammo other than 7 and 31. The MPX Chad is highly unpredictable, as they are quite happy pushing their enemies, but are just as comfortable shooting at a reasonable distance. Their gear and their behaviors make them powerful enemies, and as a result, they are one of the few creatures that dare to enter the hallways of labs. Their abilities are to the point that any creature other than a Chad will find it nearly impossible to defeat them. Though this subspecies enters the lands of Tarkov weak and ill-equipped to survive, they can grow into one of the most feared in the Chad populations. From Saiga to MPX, the evolution of this subspecies is truly a fascinating journey. Though they remain fierce competitors for the resources of Tarkov, the numbers of the consistent recoil subspecies are beginning to decline ever so slightly. The blame for this can be attributed to their close evolutionary cousins, their fellow SMG users. 
the spray and prey subspecies.